We have this. This is a remarkable story from Fox News Channel. Elusive crime wave data shows frightening toll of illegal immigrant criminals. The federal government can tell you how many native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islanders stole a car, the precise number of American Indian or Alaska natives who were arrested for vagrancy, how many whites were busted for counterfeiting in any given year. But the government agencies that crunch crime numbers are utterly unable or unwilling to pinpoint for the public how many illegal immigrants are arrested within U.S. borders each year. In the absence of comprehensive data, FoxNews.com examined a patchwork of local, state, federal stats that revealed a widely disproportionate number of murderers, rapists, and drug dealers are crossing into the U.S. amid the wave of hard-working families seeking a better life. The explosive figures show illegal immigrants are three times as likely to be convicted of murder as members of the general population and account for far more crimes than their 3.5% share of the U.S. population would suggest. Now, we've had reports now that tell us that illegal immigrants are using a significant, in terms of their percentage, are using a significant amount of our welfare system. And now we have this report, which we'll further elaborate on, that tells us in their numbers they're committing an enormous amount of serious crimes. And yet Washington acts like this is no big deal. They're surrogates on radio... And on TV, act like this is no big deal. They paint a completely different picture of who is coming here. It goes on. Critics say it's no accident the local, state, and federal governments go to great lengths to keep this data under wraps. There are a lot of reasons. States don't make this information readily available, and there's no clear housing of data at high levels, said former Justice Department attorney J. Christian Adams, who's conducted exhausted research on the subject. These numbers would expose how serious the problem is and make the government look bad. Adams called illegal immigrant crime a wave of staggering proportions. He and other experts noted that the issue has been dragged into the spotlight by a spate of cases in which illegal immigrants with criminal records killed people and after being released from custody because of incoherent procedures and a lack of cooperation between local and federal law enforcement officials. The murders, including the July 1 killing of Caitlin Steinle, allegedly by an illegal immigrant in San Francisco, have left grieving loved ones angry and confused. A spokesperson for U.S. Customs and Immigration Enforcement told FoxNews.com that comprehensive statistics on illegal immigrant crime are not available from the federal government and suggested contacting county, state, and federal jail and prison systems individually to compose a tally, a process that would encompass thousands of local departments. So the federal government... It's keeping track of your income through the IRS. It's keeping track of your health care through the IRS. It's keeping track of your race and your wealth through HUD because they're nationalizing zoning. The federal government's keeping track of your phone numbers. The federal government knows every damn thing it wants to about you and your family, except for illegal aliens. They do not collect information about crimes committed by illegal aliens. Why is that? I'll tell you why, because there'd be a rebellion in this country. There'd be a revolution, that's why. So we get to say pablum and platitudes about people coming here for love. Great, some people come here from love. Some people come here to kill and rape and maim and steal. Fox News did review reports from immigration reform groups and various government agencies, including the U.S. Census Bureau, the U.S. Sentencing Commission, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, the Government Accountability Office, the Bureau of Justice Statistics, and several state and county correctional departments. Statistics show the estimated 11.7 million illegal immigrants in the U.S., they say, account for 13.6% of all offenders sentenced for crimes committed in the United States. Now, if it's 11.7 million, that means it's less than 5% of the population of the country closer to 4% of the population of the country, committing 13.6% of all criminal offenses in the United States. Three times their numbers. It continues. 12% of murder sentences. 20% of kidnapping sentences. 16% of drug trafficking sentences are meted out to illegal immigrants. There are approximately 2.1 million legal or illegal immigrants with criminal convictions living free are behind bars in the United States, according to ICE's Secure Communities Office. Each year, about 900,000 legal and illegal immigrants are arrested. 700,000 are released from jail, prison, or probation. ICE estimates there are more than 1.2 million criminal aliens at large in the United States. 1.2 million. 
In the most recent figures available at the Government Accountability Office, a report titled Criminal Alien Statistics, found there were 55,000 illegal immigrants in federal prison, 296,000 in state and local lockups in 2011. Experts agree those figures have almost certainly risen, although executive orders from the Obama administration may have changed the status of thousands who previously would have been counted as illegal immigrants. Hundreds of thousands of illegal immigrant criminals are being deported. In 2014, ICE removed 315,000. 85% of whom had previously been convicted of a criminal offense. But the same year ICE released into the United States almost 31,000 criminal legal immigrants with a combined 80,000 criminal convictions, including 86 murders, 186 kidnappings, and thousands of sexual assaults, domestic violence assaults, DUIs. As of August, ICE had already released at least over 10,000 criminal aliens. I'm taking time on this to reverse the myth, the lies, the propaganda that come from the Oval Office, that come from both political parties. We are destroying ourselves from within. We are destroying ourselves from within. That's why Lindsey Graham's at a big egg zero. That's why the rhinos who supported amnesty in the past and pretend they don't today are not resonating with the American people and particularly conservatives in the Republican Party. 